In this video, we're going to discuss how to deal with earth, right? So sometimes in an electrical circuit like so, you may see this little symbol over here that basically means that you are earthing that part of the circuit. Uh, in the A levels, okay, we must understand that what the earth actually does, right, this actually sets, okay, the potential at that point to be zero volts. So what does this actually mean? So a lot of times, okay, when we look at this uh, circuit over here, uh, we, a lot of times we assume that the potential on this side of the battery over here is zero volts, and then over here would be 10 volts. Okay, and due to the symmetry of this circuit, you know that you would dissipate five here and five there. And so the potential here would be five volts and then zero volts. Okay, so effectively what we are doing, right, we know that as we cross from here to here, we gain 10 volts. When we cross from here to here, you minus five. And if we cross from here to here, you minus five. Now, I could actually say that uh, on another day, I might want to say, well, you know, I don't like the number zero. I want to be a little bit more interesting. Maybe I want to call myself minus six volts here. And then in which case here could be four volts and uh, we'll get minus one volt. So over here. And the question now is, which of these are correct? The blue set or the red set? Well, the answer is no one knows. And so that's the thing. Without Earth, I can choose any potential I want and it will be okay. The only thing that has to be correct, of course, are the potential differences. So what the Earth does is, is that it says, well, look, I'm going to now give you a reference. So I want this to be zero volts. And in this case, because the Earth is there, it has to be zero volts over there. Now, this will then set all the potentials in every part of the circuit. And so, of course, what you'll have over here will be minus 5 volts, like so. And what you'll have here is plus 5 volts. So the Earth sets the potentials, and uh, that's pretty much all that it does. It doesn't affect the functioning of the circuit. So when you analyze it, you can actually ignore it unless you are asked to find the potentials at specific points.